Okay, I've got everything predominantly cleaned up and drying, and I'm going to show you all a little something that I'm not real proud of. Uh, the old Vortex Bowl was shot. Actually, there it is right there. It's compromised, and I knew it was a while back. Long before my grandfather died, they he didn't wasn't too concerned with it, and I just let it roll. But he had let it run so long, loose, that it chewed everything up. And I'm fixing to run to Home Depot or Lowe's, most likely Lowe's, and get a uh, a new bolt to weld on there with a washer and probably a couple of rubber gaskets that'll actually seal that off because the whole premise of this thing and they work they they do work is you see the fins as air comes up through it swirls it and a lot of the heavy solids will fall out into this cup and catch and then every day or so depending on what kind of conditions you're running in uh, depends on how often you need to go in and dump that bowl. I mean, I've, in a real nasty hay field, I've dumped it as many times as twice in a day. Uh, when I was plowing under real windy conditions, I've dumped it as many times as twice in a day. Uh, over the course of the winter, when all we were doing was feeding hay, wouldn't need to clean that thing out for a month. It just all depends on, you know, what it's got. And I never let, there's a line there. You can almost see. You can see part of it right there. There's a line that you're supposed to dump it when it gets to that level. I never let it go that far. I always, you know, if there was an inch of sediment in the bottom of the bowl, it was time to go. Uh, and for a long time, that's what kept that filter as clean as it did. Now, something that I do that a lot of other people don't do. Whenever I've been drying something with solvent, I will actually let the media sit in the sunlight. And what it'll do is that solvent will evaporate out. And you can't really see it on the video, but every once in a while, if you look real close, you can kind of see a little vapor coming out of it. Uh, and that's the, the solvent dissipating into the air. I sped the process up because I blew on it lightly with about 10 PSI of air through a little blow, a hand blow gun off my air compressor. But I'm going to let them sit out here in the sun and bake for at least a couple of hours. And it's, it's, you know, we're in winter down here where I live. It's going to be about 70 degrees, so that hood right there will get around 80-ish. There's no real breeze blowing, so, I mean, it'll warm up. It'll cook the vapor out because I don't want to take a chance of getting that solvent off in that engine and doing some damage. It shouldn't hurt anything, but just to be on the safe side, this is the only tractor I have that is functional and running at the time. Uh, there will be videos hopefully coming within the next year on a Fordson Super Major that I've got to go pick up from a cousin. And that's going to be my pride and joy. That's what I I grew up shredding and, and working. And I'm actually going to start, I'm going to get it to back where it's running status. And then when my son gets old enough, uh, we're going to redo it for probably his senior project for his FFA Ag Mechanics classes. Uh, but I'm going to start buying all the things we need, a little here and a little there throughout the years, because I already know what the tractor needs. Uh, and I can still get most of the parts in England. They're hard to get in the United States, but we can get most of the parts in England. And i got to get them shipped. But there's where we're at. I'm going to take a break, go get some lunch, go to Lowe's, 
then I'll come back and put this thing together.